Hey guys, welcome back. It's a little windy in the background, as you can hear. Hurricane Ian has just entered South Florida, unfortunately. So, thinking about and praying for those folks down there. It's a bad storm for sure. And uh, so, I've got to head. We live in Northeast Florida. We're expecting a bit of surge. So, I'm just doing a little bit of. Uh, uh, since we had rain, I thought I'll come up here and try to plant a couple food plots. Got a couple down, but uh, unfortunately, had tractor issues too. But I wanted to give you a quick update on the chestnut orchard, which is looking really cool. And uh, chestnuts are dropping. Check this out. It's got a lot of burrs on it. There's a couple that are, you can see it's opened. Uh, one probably fell out. That one's got a couple falling out. I'm gonna shake it and see if they'll fall. Look at that. Three of them fell. And, Oh, look at that, they're just falling out. So this one had three in it. This one, which is a good chestnut, and I'm gonna replant that. This one, which also looks like a healthy chestnut in there. See how thick it is? And then this little guy, let me pick it up with my fingers. So this didn't get fertilized. So nothing to do with that. I'll then toss it and leave it for the deer to eat. And I see that the deer have clearly opened a bunch up. Like this guy right here. There's no no chestnuts on the ground. That one. So the deer are hitting it. That's pretty cool. Look at this one. Wow. So first of all, check that out. <laughs> some in there. None on that side. Some there. Look at that. Really cool. There's one there. This tree's loaded. And look at that guy holding on by a thread. Can you see that? <laughs> oh. Got him. Another good one. Look at this. So cool. It's just laying on the ground. Some big ones. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Chestnuts. So for folks that don't follow any of the chestnut videos, chestnut trees in 1904 were almost all wiped out. This was a staple for people in the US. People ate these. They're not nuts, they're more like a potato. And uh, anyway, they're coming back. These are Dunstan chestnut trees. That one's loaded up pretty good too. And look at that. And then I've got 88 of them out there. So we're big deer hunters. Um, part of what we've got this for is to uh, deer love them. And so uh, if we didn't have a hurricane, I'd be hunting right now, but I gotta head back. So these probably will all be dropped, I think in the next two to three weeks. I follow a guy named John Sangle and he's got a bunch of chestnut trees. So he, he shares a little bit about what he thinks they're gonna do and when. Anyway, it's, um, uh, so they're dropping and they look good. We did a good job taking care of them this year. and. Hopefully we avoid any blight here and uh, they can keep growing. These are about seven year old trees and producing for us. So I'm gonna go get about 40 of these, uh, put them in a bag, bring them home and figure out how to cold stratify them. I think I know, but I, I'll follow some of the videos of some of the chestnut dudes uh, out there. And uh, then we'll get out of the woods and let the deer have the rest. <laughs> Look at that. So most of them are already starting to open like this. A few of them, I just shook the tree and these guys fell down there not open. So I'll crack these guys open at home. Uh, if you don't have gloves like this, they hurt. So. Anyway, crack them open at home. Hopefully they got a couple in there.
All right, guys, so there's the chestnut harvest that I wanted to do for the year. I'm really fired up about it. We got about 35 in there. I've got six burrs. I'll probably get another 10 out of that, uh, or maybe 18. Uh, most of the burrs seem to have uh, two or three, and those that have two uh, have, have one that's not fertilized. Um, and so, uh, anyway, it's good harvest. I'm pumped up about it. We've got a game camera on the over uh, some that I just dropped. And uh, I've got another 85, 83 trees uh, that I haven't touched. And deer are going to love on that. So excited about uh, what this little orchard can do in the future and planting these so that I can fill some of the, the holes in the orchard. Thanks for following along, guys. I uh, appreciate you very much. And keep working hard and doing what you love. See you.